Welcome back to Modern Homesteading. I'm very safe, or very happy to say I, sa I survived a day of skiing without a helmet. So you never know. So Safety Sally came out hard against me on yesterday's video about that. And for once I have to agree with her. Mrs. W's been on me about skiing without a helmet. And I looked across the, the lift line and I saw that I was the only one not wearing one. I thought, you know what, maybe it's not a bad idea. So lots of great stuff today. So what's in what's in this box really it really surprised me i i didn't even know it existed i've never seen anything like it so today we're going to finish up the tire chains we need the tire chains for the wood processor we've got the frostbite log grappler over there and i didn't have the right fittings on it so the the good folks uh that supplied uh who brought that down uh, mailed me the right fitting so we'll put those on today but first off I want to show you something that I, I didn't know what to think when I opened it up. I, so I, I ordered the rubber tensioners. You know, some people said that you don't need the tensioners on the tractor holding the chains tight because, you know, you don't go that fast. And so I took it down and I plowed out the neighbor's road. And, and it did work fine, but there's pretty tight clearances. You know, these compact tractors, they, they put stuff together. And so if something were to happen uh, or something flopping, you know, you could damage a fender. And I like it better. They just, it's better to have tensioners on there. So I, I, I sent for some of those and I thought we were going to have just the regular uh, rubber style, you know, and bungee type, you know, that type of thing like we've all seen before. On a side note, some of the commenters gave me an idea I'd never heard of before that was so brilliant. They said, take an old bike inner tube and, and get some like some hooks. You can get some heavy wire and make some like, S hooks on there and use that for a tensioner. I thought, well, oh, that's a great idea, but I don't have any bike inner tubes. So what came in the box? <laughs> I just have never seen this before. Uh, is uh, <laughs> the nicest tensioners I've ever seen in my life. Look at this. So we have what we have here. <laughs> we're gonna put we're gonna put these on. But man, you want to talk about industrial strength? Good grief! These things are serious. Okay, so. <laughs> So, uh, all right, so this is a, this is a like a forged ring here in the center. We got the center ring, right, with a kind of an octopus type of thing. One, two, three, four, it's not really an octopus. One, two, three, four, five, six. What's the word for six? Hex? Is it hex? hex? I don't know. It doesn't matter. So anyway, so this goes in the middle. These springs go out to the chains, and I mean... Is that, if you have, and that's, I think that's the little one. There's a big one. Let's, uh, let's just put them on and see, uh, see how they work. All right, so first things first. So I, I went out to get the mail and I almost wiped out half a dozen times. It's so icy. So I've got Mrs. W's, her super tire chain, feet tire chain. I'm gonna try those on here and see how those things work. They seem to. Seem to be pretty good. I have them on right. Is that the right way? Oh, those are good. They've got these carbide spikes. Look at that. They got these carbide spikes on them. So this is the spot where I almost wiped out three times between here and the camera by uh, getting the mail. And now I got my cat-like reflexes. Those are those are good. Look at that. These are good. These are really good. 
see if they stay on. That's some hard old blue ice right there. Look at the Man, those are nice. So she runs with these. Not anymore. Okay, let's see if we can figure out figure this out here. This is Okay, so it looks like so we'll put if we put the these are kind of long. I guess maybe it's kind of a universal type of thing where you've got to cut it to fit. I think I just prefer the rubber ones actually, but this seems quite elaborate. Hmm, well. Is that the center there? But having to cut all these links, if that's the case, is not, uh, those springs are pretty tight too. I don't know about this. All right, so, so the principle is pretty straightforward here. But the application is it's difficult I just you know I just I, I don't know that all of this is necessary when it seems to me that you can do the same thing with a rubber like okay so I've got this is no small deal compressing these springs so I've got this tool luckily uh, that came with Jack's trampoline this tool should be included in those chain tensioners um, no doubt how you know, I'm 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 a big guy. I'm six foot four. I'm 210 pounds. I'm reasonably strong, and I find this I find this difficult. Um, so I've got to pull I'm going to pull this thing out of the spring with all my strength. I mean, it's really difficult, and try to get uh, and I'm just cashed after that. I'm t I mean, my, it's hard and. Uh, Let's, let's keep going here. Let's see. I don't know. I don't know about this. Don't know. Let's try to get another one. It's it's not easy. And that's not very. That's just not very tight. I mean, it almost is a two-person job, and then someone's gonna lose a finger. Goodness. And then what do I do with all of these things here? So am I supposed to I'm supposed to cut these off and have these things flopping around? You know that's no good. I mean, so this one's I'm saving the worst for last. So this one's down the bottom. See if I can. Oh, good grief! You know, if I had a board stretcher, I might be able to... See, that's not, that's not tight. It's, it's kind of frustrating, actually. I need to get another link on there. I mean, grief. I guess maybe I'll lay down in the, in the snow. And they're not all that, t it's just still not that tight. I need to get... Oh, I just can't, I can't get any more than that. So, here's, I'll only tell you a story. So back in the day, my grandfather, he was drafted into World War II. He was a, he came from a very strict Christian family and their faith didn't, they didn't uh, believe in taking up arms against anyone. He said, you know, similar to Desmond Doss, a Desmond Doss movie that's, that's Mel Gibson movie that recently came out. He said, uh, I'll go and do my part. I'll do anything that I'm told to do, but I won't pick up a rifle and I won't, uh, I won't kill anyone. So he went in non-combatant. And so they put him in the U.S. Air Corps uh, as a, as a medic. So they were stationed in Libya and Africa, and they 
Uh, he was attached to the B-24 bombers that were doing the raids. He actually, his group, bomber group did the Palesti, the raid over the Palesti oil fields. Uh, and so when the planes would come back, each, you know, each one of those planes had 10 men in it. Um, he would, uh, drive his ambulance out there and he would take care of the, of the dead and the dying. So, uh, in the meantime, you know, when they weren't flying missions, you know, he would, uh, you know, he was not a, an idle type of guy. He would go and volunteer and help, uh, the, the mechanics because he always had an interest in working on engines and mechanics. So he would help changing the big Pratt and Whitney engines and on the aircraft and all of that. And he said it was really interesting. So when they would put a new engine on an aircraft, and they had four, uh, what they would do is the mechanic that was, that oversaw that project, to ensure that he did a good job, he would go up in the plane on the, on the maiden flight with a new engine. And so, therefore, he was highly motivated to do uh, a good job, uh, to get it done right, to do it properly, because... He knew he was going to be up there, you know, doing the, giving it the acid test, so to speak. Sometimes things like this are designed on paper, and I don't know, I, I, I could be completely wrong, but I doubt that the guy that came up with this design here, uh, laid in the snow on a cold day with cold hands and cold feet, uh, and tried to, I wonder if he tried to install these things or if it just looked good on paper. Because the practical side of it is not, uh, it's not really great. And then, so... I think I'm going to send them back. I just don't... What do you think? Do you think... I mean, this... There's no doubt they're going to work. There's no doubt that they're that they're good and going to last a long time. But do, do they have to be so heavy? Look to the truckers. What are the truckers? I don't see the truckers using these. And they're the masters of chains out here anyway. Hmm. Well, will think about that. Let me know in your comments what you think. Should we just maybe put those back in the box, send them back, and go with something a little more simple like a bungee cord? Well, let's go, uh, let's go load up the frostbite. We'll take the snow plow off um, and get the frostbite uh, on there and, uh, and see how that works. Well, wait a minute, we can't take the plow off. We've got a new foot of new snow down on the landing. We've got to go plow that out first. All right, so let's go do that now. So many of you have realized that we, well, at the posting of this video, we should be well over half a million subscribers to the channel. 
<laughs> it just beggars belief. You know, I'll tell you, I've told the story many times before, but I remember back when I first started uploading YouTube videos, um, some, that was a long time ago. Uh, I remember there was uh, uh, a guy that had 60,000 subscribers, and I thought, my goodness, that, that, that might as well have been the, the stratosphere. You know, I never, never thought we'd ever see anything like that, and, uh, and yet here we are. It's been a lot of, it's been a lot of um, great times. It's been a lot of hard work, but we all work hard, right? But it's been a very satisfying work, and, and it's taken me places, taken our family places that... Um, we wish, wouldn't have been able to do without YouTube, and more important than that, without those of you who faithfully subscribe to the channel and have supported us all the way. So I wanted to, I didn't know, I wanted to do something special for the 500,000 subscribers. I didn't really know what to do. I was out plowing uh, the landing out there and it just clicked into my head. We're going to do, you know, you've heard of sky riding, right? We're going to do snow riding. The first ever 500,000 subscriber snow riding video celebration so thank you thank you to everyone so uh just in closing here the chains how do they or the tensioner how did it work i ran one side with and one side without i don't know that it made any difference i don't know well i mean they're well made don't, don't get me wrong you know and, and but, but boy they're hard to put on and uh, I don't know. I might just have to put them all on, run them for a while and see. But um, anyway, we'll see you guys on the next video.